Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Will. And if you probably have noticed, the quality of this video is a little better than what you're used to seeing from me. That's because I borrowed a camera from somebody else to see if a high definition camera would bring any more, how can I say, brilliance to my videos. So I'll let you guys be the judge. Do you like my old gritty, more gorilla style 4.1 pixel, megapixel camera? Or this new Fandango technology that the kids are using? So just let me know. Anyway, just got off work. I was on my way home and I'm thinking as I'm driving, something hit me. I mean, thinking about this whole AIG bailout thing and then the whole AIG scandal when it comes to the uh, what's the word I'm looking for the uh, compensation the bonuses and I'm thinking like you know Congress literally took taxpayer time and money and processed and put through a bill where the house did a bill that specifically targets a segment so small that they're not even 1% of 1% of our population of people with a 90% tax because they simply don't agree with their philosophy, their business philosophy, or what those people are getting. That's kind of dangerous to me. I mean, it seems like Obama and his puppet masters have lost their freaking mind. Like, I mean, honestly, think about that, people. They don't like what happened. AIG and how they run their business. They gave them bailout money. And I can understand the frustration for the average Joe and Joette who don't understand the whole picture. But I want you to specifically think about targeting a small segment of people that they don't like with a 90% tax. That's our government doing that with government dollars against a small segment of people targeting them. I think that is leading to a dangerous, slippery slope. And think about what happened during the Bush years right after 9-11, how they used terrorism as an excuse to pass the Patriot Acts that took away a lot of our rights and kind of set us up for a police state. And think about what Obama and the puppet masters Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid are doing. They are actually using the economy to target their enemies. Think about it. One day somebody can say, I don't like you because you are redheaded or because you wear green shoes and they can target you with a specific law that only hurts you because they don't like you. Not because you're a menace or because of some kind of dire need for the country, but simply because their ideology doesn't fit with what you do, they target you. That is dangerous. What kind of country have we, I mean, George W. Bush with his foolishness and now Obama with his foolish foolishness. I mean, seriously, people, think about the Obama administration so far. He is not up to task, but that's what we have been trying to tell you for so long, that he is not up to the task to be president. This man has no idea. I mean, to hire somebody like Timothy Geithner and just the bobbles in the mist. I mean, this guy cannot do anything without a teleprompter. And I get all you bougie behind black folks and all you college kids, you 20-somethings out there who are in love and infatuated with this joke of a president telling me, give him a chance. You're a buster. You're a sellout. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. We're giving him a chance with trillions of dollars. You only get so much rope, my friend. You only get so much from the American people. And I think we've been very patient with our dollars. See, when you're young, dumb, and don't know no better, like a lot of you people who voted for Obama, who have never had to really budget anything, who've, who've all either been taken care of by your daddies and your mamas, or some of you bougie black folk who really don't get it, because all you see is the color of the man's skin, don't you understand that it's so much bigger than black and white, Latino, Asian, purple, Martian? It's about our dollars. It's about our country's future. It's about our kids' future. If you don't care about yourself, at least care about the kids. 
it's about expanding your horizons and thinking outside of the box and seeing the forest for the trees. This man is a joke and he's gonna bankrupt this country. We, we don't have to give him a year or two to realize that he is not doing what he needs to do. And some of you say, well, what's your solution, Will? Well, you know, I was talking with a friend of mine and some people say, you know what? When it comes to the auto bailout, for example, my girlfriend was talking to her professor and he had a great idea. He was like, won't we bail out the pension program? Because the pension programs are what the car companies are saying are killing them and is just ruining their bottom line. Why don't we bail that out for the fraction of a fraction of the cost that we gave them the money to bail out the whole industry? That way it frees up capital for the car companies to invest in cleaner technology, better designed cars, and whatever else they need to do. Because they don't have to take care of this fat country. And that's right, we're fat. The reason why our health care is out of control is because Americans are fat. We go to McDonald's, Burger King, and Taco Bell. We don't cook anymore. We don't, we don't, it's amazing how I deal in the medical industry and most of the problems that people have are because of their fat. We don't exercise, we don't take care of ourselves, we play video games, we watch Lifetime Channel, and we watch ESPN, we watch March Madness, and we just get fatter and fatter as we stuff more nachos in our face. That's the problem. So I think if the car industry bailed out the pension program for all those fat elderly folks that worked there for 30 years and set them straight for life so that they can have their health care and eat all the nachos they want while they watch Lifetime or ESPN, that would free up capital. And I'm sitting there like, wow, that was a great idea. So in closing, people, I'm not going to make this a very long video. It's probably long to some people because you don't want to hear the truth. But it's kind of crazy that, you know, the Bush administration used terrorism to pass the Patriot Act. And now, and, and Obama talked about how they used the, the, the legacy of fear and fear, 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 and how he wasn't above politics and he wasn't going to do it. But yet he's doing the same thing with the economy, using fear to pass ridiculous bills like what they're doing to the AIG people. Now, I'm no apologist for the AIG, and those people don't deserve bonuses, that's true, but they still don't deserve the scrutiny of our, our Congress taking out our time that they should be working on fixing our problems and going after somebody they don't like. That's wrong. That's wrong no matter how you put it. It's wrong. Anyway, I'm, I don't know. Tell me what y'all think about it. Grainy or clear? Talk to y'all later.